Hey guys, welcome to today's episode. So recently I watched a movie called Vice. It's about Dick Cheney, the former vice president of the USA, and he's played by Christian Bale. And it's a good movie. And of course, Christian Bale does a phenomenal acting job. Uh, he put on a lot of weight for the role and he's hardly recognizable. So this is what he looked like for the role with the weight gain and the makeup. And this is the real Dick Cheney. Now, the first time I ever saw Christian Bale was in American Psycho, and I remember it clearly. It was the year 2006, and I was actually in a backpackers hostel in uh, Canada, Vancouver Island. Anyway, I remember watching that movie and thinking, wow, this guy can really act. And it was also a fairly disturbing kind of film. If you've seen American Psycho, you know what I mean. But since then, he's been one of my favorite actors. And what makes Christian Bale great at what he does is, the length that he's willing to go to for a role. So the most famous example of this was the 2004 film, The Machinist, where he literally stabbed himself down to skin and bone. And he said, I came up with the absolutely brilliant method of just smoking cigarettes and drinking whiskey to lose weight. So besides that, his diet for four months consisted of black coffee, a solitary apple, and a tin of tuna every day, that's it. The 54 kilogram final weight that he got down to, reportedly it wasn't enough for him. He was aiming to get down to just 45 kilograms, but the film's producers stopped him for health reasons. Now the very next year, he packed on the muscle to play Batman. So on a one year transformation to go from where he was to where he became, it's incredible. Now this is someone who clearly takes their career seriously and they're 100% dedicated to it. There's no half measures in any of the roles that he plays. It's all or nothing. Anyway, the point of me talking about Christian Bale is this guy has clearly found his thing in life. And not everyone finds their thing. Not everyone finds a career that they can completely dedicate themselves to. And it's something that you should never really stop looking for because when you have it, now you've got real purpose and no challenge can keep you permanently down. Uh, overall, you're mostly optimistic about your future and you mostly enjoy the time that you're at work, which it's one third of your life, it's a lot of time. So many people are staying in careers which just make them miserable and that's sad. And I get why they might do it temporarily. Maybe they just need the money, maybe it's the pandemic or the role's a stepping stone to get to where they really wanna go. But if you're showing up to a job year after year after year that you actually hate, that's just no way to live your life. A big part of the reason why I started Strive was so that people could learn new job skills to change the direction of their career to something that they're actually passionate about. The main focus these next few months for me is going to be focusing on the career skills. We want to get a lot more courses for the career skills and we also want to build in certifications where you can actually complete these tests, get a certificate to verify that you actually now have these job ready skills and you can put that on your resume or you can put that online. So I'm really focused right now on getting people for uh, creative kind of content, whether it's video, whether it's image, anything to do with creative content that companies can use online. And if you have those skills, you can now get work at those companies. We're also building a course on project management in a few weeks. That's a job that will always be in demand. Your ability to start a project and manage it through all the different stages to the very end, whether that's managing a team of people as well. If you have that skill, companies, they're, they're always going to value you. So these are just some of the career skills that we're focused on. There's going to be a lot more. One year from now, my goal is to have over a hundred different courses on the career skills category. And that's one of three categories that we have on Stripe. So if you wanna get access to all of these courses, including the new ones as we add them, all you gotta do is go to stripecourses.com and enroll right there. As we finish producing each course, it'll be added into your membership. You can get access to it. And in addition to that, as you become a member, you're going to start to receive credits or seminar vacation points to be able to attend our live training events. Now they're starting in January of 2021. They're gonna be held right here in Costa Rica. We have the very first one, January 19th, which is the Creator Skills Workshop, where you'll learn all about video production and editing videos professionally. And every single month we have a new seminar vacation. Now the way it works is you only need six seminar vacation points to be able to attend any of them. 
and they each go for seven days, six nights, all inclusive for two people. So you get those six points and you get to pick which one you wanna to go to and then you just show up. Okay, so if you wanna get access to all of that, go to stripecourses.com, check it out. But regardless, I hope you find your passion in life for your career. If you haven't found it, keep looking for it. Join Stripe, go through all the different courses and you might find a skill that you never thought you would enjoy, but you really become passionate about it and you can pivot in your career. So get started today and I'll see you tomorrow.